Today I'm going to be installing outdoor lighting in the front of my house. I'll be using a combination of pathway lights and up lights to illuminate the exterior front of our home. I'm Anne Marie from Simply Two Moms, one of the owners of our business and our blog. We hope that you follow and subscribe so you see more of the tips that we share. Everything from home decor to DIY to healthy recipes to tips for families with older children. So let's get started and install this exterior lighting in my front yard. With a fresh paint job on the exterior of my house, new shrubs and trees in the front flower beds, it was time to highlight all that extra work we did. It was time for landscape lighting. An AQ lighting group came to my rescue. With their no splice connect wiring system, you don't need any extra tools. Even this old mom could install her own outdoor lights. It's so easy to assemble your landscape lights. These canopy pathway lights are simple to put together. I got the 11 inch stem, but they're also available in an 18 inch height if you prefer that. Connect the LED bulb inside the stem. These are two watt warm white bulbs. Next, you're gonna screw on the neck piece. Just twist it on, easy peasy. And then this glass cover twists on over the bulb. This will protect everything from the elements. Once that's on, grab that top, screw that in place, and you're done. Super easy. Can you believe these spotlights are even more simple than the pathway lights? You wanna know why? They already come assembled. Yep, all you need to do is put the seven watt LED bulb inside. Just unscrew the light and be sure that spring stays in the bottom. Then connect your bulb and screw the housing back together. Just push that spring down, pop the top on, and you're ready to install these lights. After all my lights were assembled, I laid out all of the light fixtures where they were going to be installed. That way I could step back and take a look at my landscape lighting design in real time rather than on paper and make any adjustments that are needed. I'm also installing this tri-directional uplight to serve as a marker in the corner of where the sidewalk ends and meets the driveway. This will help illuminate the space for when people pull down the driveway or we back out of the garage. Since the transformers that power the lighting need to be at least 12 inches from the ground, we cemented a short 4x4 wood post to hold them securely. Soon the shrubs will grow and the transformers will be hidden. Next I attach the no splice wiring to the transformers. Look how simple it is. I'm not using any tools. There's no scary electrical wiring. It was so easy. Once the wire is connected, I just rolled it out across the area where I was installing all of the lights. Now it was time to get these lights in the ground. I used a scrap piece of wood as a template and also as a little rake to get the mulch out of the way. The lights were placed eight inches from the edge of the sidewalk. Measure the spot, Grab your stake that comes with each outdoor light and hammer it into the ground with a rubber mallet. Using the scrap piece of wood prevented the stake from breaking. Once the stake is far enough into the ground, just twist your pathway light into the stake. To get power to each individual light, you're going to attach the wire from the light itself and screw it into the wire that came from the transformer. And that's it. Later, I'll cover these wires with mulch. You may need to use a 3-point T connector or a 4-point X connector when installing your outdoor lighting. Here I'm showing you how I used an X-point connector because I needed to connect one pathway light, one spotlight, a new power connector from the transformer box, and then I needed to connect those two power connectors together. Does that sound confusing? It's not. I promise it's easy. You don't wanna to have too many lights on one power connection, which is why I have two transformer boxes for my whole landscape design. I also installed spotlights to highlight the new trees in the landscaping and the stone on the front of my house. I absolutely love that stone and it was one of the things that drew me to this house when we bought it 15 years ago. I followed the same exact steps to install the spotlights as the pathway lights, used the same exact stakes, and twisted the light into the stake just like the pathway lights. The best thing about these lights are they are adjustable 
and they swivel. So you can direct the light exactly where you want it and illuminate whatever you want to highlight. Then just screw in that no connect wiring and you're done. Wow, was that fast or was that fast? Boy, do I wish I worked that fast. But seriously, it didn't take me long at all. Maybe a half a day to finish this entire landscape lighting project. This tri-directional uplight was the last thing that I installed. It's ready to go without a stake. Just buried it in the corner of our driveway and sidewalk as a marker light. And then connected the wires and covered the area back up with the river rock. This astronomical dusk to dawn timer is great because there's no turning the lights on and off. They just automatically come on at dusk and go off at dawn. If you wanna boost your home's curb appeal, I check out AQ Lighting Group and their no splice connect lighting system. I just love how my new landscape lights look and can't believe I did all of this on my own. It was so easy, I promise you can do it too.